Hello there, Multicrafters! Welcome back to a brand new Multicraft video! X-Realm here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys some more Multicraft build and mine commands for you guys to use whenever you need them. And also make sure to join my host server, the invite code is 1G54NYW. Let me tell you a little bit about my server, Voxelcraft Creative. In Voxelcraft 1G54NYW, you can create your own country with cities and towns. This can be you! All you have to do is join my host server. The invite code is 1G54ENYW. I repeat, the invite code is 1G54ENYW. Yes, join it. And start building. Make your own historical stuff and all of that. And you can also choose who's going to be the president of your country. You're going to be the government. Got it? You can even start a war against another country. Just nuke it. But that's kind of impossible because one of the rules was no griefing on the server, so yeah. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to join the Multicraft community, and ring the bell to be notified about my latest videos. And let's begin. I already made a video tutorial on the world edit wand, but now I want to make a video tutorial on the world edit brush. So you know brushes are like for painting, right? Well, this brush is not really for paint. It's for nodes. And nodes are blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But first, let me clarify some things. Some world edit commands do not work on the brush, like double slash S. If you press while holding the world edit brush, you will get this message. This brush is not bound. Use double slash brush to bind a command to it. In world edit, binding a command means adding a world edit command to the brush. So instead of having to type double slash SDK many times with the world edit one, you can just use the brush. It's much faster instead of just typing. You'll have to just be pressing, which saves time. So, right now the world edit brush just says world edit brush, but when you bind a command to it, it's gonna change. And to bind a brush, the command is double slash brush, and then a world edit command, like load, and then maybe the file from load, yeah you get it. If you know world edit, you know what this is, but anyways. Brush assigned to command double slash load. And now it says double slash load unknown node. Awesome. Yes, we have successfully binded a command to the world edit brush. Um, let's just do some testing right now. I am so excited to do this and show you guys just how awesome this is. The world edit brush. So here's a good spot. I'll use this wood as an example, so check this out. Boom! Cool, right? So, we just loaded a unknown node with the world edit brush. By the way, I double slash saved a random unknown node that I found from Liljit, and yeah, we could just load it. Unknown node, unknown node, wow nice, ooh, a lot of people have joined the party. Fun fact, breaking an unknown node now gives you an emerald, but not an unknown item anymore. Can we unbind a world at a brush? Well, must we hold the brush and do double slash reset? Hopefully that works. Um, okay, never mind, it did not. So I guess we're just gonna have to throw this to the garbage and get a brand new world at a brush. And let's bind a different command to it. Let's bind a sphere to it. Double slash brush, SPR. 
and then the size and the node now we're gonna have the sphere five stone perfect let's go look for a spot and test it out but i don't want to go alone so let me ask some random players to come okay let's test it here guys i just put a protector block because i don't want anybody messing around with the area and let's test this on a zombie. You know what? Zombies are pretty stupid, so... Okay, changing my mind. I don't want to use a zombie because zombies aren't that interesting. So, instead, I'm going to be using an NPC. Oops. Oh, look! A zombie popped out of nowhere! <gasps> They're fighting! Um, I'm on NPC side. Um, I don't care about the zombies because zombies suck. The bad guys always lose, and the good guys always win yeah yeah anyways let's spawn the scene and now we're gonna test this next command on trader ethan or ethan or whatever the freak that is so good luck i'm also gonna tell the spectators to say a little bit back because this is a sphere and it's kind of big so in three everybody get back two and one Woo-wee! We trapped an NPC inside of a giant sphere. Ooh, let me add some more. And also, I'm gonna need some light because it's pretty dark. I wish I had, um, maybe set time privileges, but I don't. And that's okay because time is like in 200, so Akuna Matata. After the entire mess, I had to clean up everything I did. So yeah, hold up, is this P-Realm? Do you guys remember P-Realm? P-Realm, is that you? Nah, it can't be. That can't be P-Realm. Where's P-Realm? Where is she? Where could she be? I kind of miss her, yeah. I miss her and her cat. Um, If you don't know who P-Realm is, you're pretty new to my channel then. And there's also a limited distance that I can use the world at a brush on. So as you can see, this is pretty close to me, so it's gonna work. But if it's super far away, then it won't. Wait a second. What? Wait, it's still working. Doesn't that mean there's something straight ahead? Oh my god, a cross! What's a cross doing here? Wait, it survived the spheres! No way! Is, is this a cross? Yep, it is! What's a cross doing here? And this is why you never mess with God. Yeah, yeah. Okay, moving on to the next command. Now let's dive into more secret items in Moldcraft. First of all, shout out to Vivian, Lavender, Redstone123, Mouse, and Tihi. Huge shout out to everyone who has played on my host server and who still do. Anyway, so if you've been on my host server and explored most of it, well, um, if you fly this way, you can find locations and the party place. But if you go this way, you will find a hand. There it is. Shout out to Handy for being my pet. My pen hand handy. Lol. This is a lol moment. By the way, make the text yellow. There we go. That looks more natural now. Lol. So I got this hand before they were removed. I just placed it down on a random location. I had to move it all the way over here to this beautiful glass where it belongs. You can still get this secret item, but cannot place it down anymore. But. With World Edit, you can do it. And today, I'm going to be showing you that, but also some other different types of hands that I don't think you guys have ever seen before. I wish in the future that parrots can fly on the air and horses can make sound. If you want to get the hand, just type slash give me hand and you'll get the player API hand on your inventory. And now this, you cannot place it down anymore, but you can drop it or switch it for your other hand. Oh. If you want to see the hand, but you can't place it down to do it, well, you can just drop it. And you can see the whole hand now. Boop. Wow, the hand. The first hand ever in Multicraft. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna be showing you guys some different types of hands that I don't think you have ever seen before. But for this, we're gonna use World Edit, the wand. And we're gonna have to do double slash one, and double slash two, and then double slash S. Let me first add a default hand, double slash S hand. Ooh, it's kinda, it's pretty deep, so I'm just gonna have to add a different one up here, make it higher. There we go, and now we can see this whole hand very clearly nice let me tell you something so when you change your appearance you can see that your hand changes right you can also get those hands with world edit and the command is double slash s hand down score and then any number nice really cool oh my god wait let me check some more out we have a blue one we have Whoa, a, a X Realm hand. This is my hand, guys. My hand. Wait, take off the armor. Take it off. Take it off. My hand in Multicraft. Wait, why does it look kind of darker than mine? That looks kind of darker. Oh my god, I love you, hand. It's my first time seeing my own hand very big. Oh, the Red Gale hand. This is Red Gale's hand. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ooh wee! I'm gonna do a little time lapse because this is gonna take a little while. So yeah, enjoy just seeing those hands. This is taking forever. Oh, a naked hand. <laughs> What's this hand doing here? Look how bald it is. Handy, 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 hands. By the way, this was discovered by Super Legend Gaming. I forgot the rest, but Super Legend Gaming, shout out to you. Oh yeah, and Super Legend, if you're watching, well, I found out how to get the female hands. For the female hands, just type double slash S, hand, dance, score, female. And you can type a random number or just that and you'll get a female hand. This is your first time for sure seeing a female hand node. Wow, and it's pink, and there's even more. Like the boy hands, there's also a lot of girl hands. It's just so epic to look. Wait, not too epic, kind of disturbing. Imagine if we set random hands on random homes and people are gonna be like, what's going on here? By the way, is there a little bit of hands? There is a limit. Whoa. Okay, Multicrafters, moving on to the next one. First of all, this is not a player head or a zombie head. Well, zombie heads are going to be re-added soon, maybe. This one's a black weird head. Thingamajigger. Um, whatever it is. We're going to use Whirletta for this. Huh? Where did the marker go? Double slash two. Wait, what? Is there someone invisible trolling me? What in the world? Oh yeah, so about the head. It's not a player head. It's not a zombie head. It's not a mob head. It's a sunflower head. But this one is going to be big, big and black. So here we have a little sunflower head. It looks pretty nice. On the item frame and on the cactus. We're going to use world edit. To, um, where did it go? What's going? Oh, wait, what? And to generate the head, the command is double slash S head. And then the head will generate. Um, it's super darky. Hold up, let me remove this cactus and let's do some testing on it. Can we go through it? No, we can't. Wow, okay, but we can go, we can pass right by it, and that's okay. A nice sunflower head. Can we break it? Nah, wait, but can we mine it? Can we? Oh, we cannot break it with our hands. We can't mine it, it's like permanent. I think we can push it with a piston and stuff like that. Can we block it? Maybe. 
Mm, never mind, we can't. It's just a no to like the others. I just hope that someday the zombie heads will return. Wait a second, there's sun, and this is still black and dark. What? This is so black, and there is light everywhere. Hey, this reminds me of how the cactus looked like before Moldcraft. Well, that was it for today's Moldcraft Build Online Command video. Make sure to check out the commands playlist to learn more commands from Moldcraft. And also join my host server. The email code is 1G54ENYW. Okay, Moldcrafters. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to join the Multicraft community, and ring the bell to be notified about my latest videos. And until next time, my Multicrafters. <laughs>